Hello. So today I like to show you how you can use Y2 axis in a chart. Sometimes when you have like multiple metrics in one single chart, they don't share the same range of the scale. For example, maybe like one with the metrics is using a percentage and another one was using like, you know, sales numbers or something like that. Then percentage numbers usually like zero point something. Then like when you try to put them together in a one single chart, then you're not going to see the one metric values because the value was so small compared to the other metric value. In such case, you want to use Y2 axis as opposed to Y1 axis, then have them have their own scale. Okay, this is what I mean. Let's take a look. Here I have the sales values showing in the chart. This sales value is actually the percent difference compared to a year ago. So all the value is something like, for example, 69, 69% or like 10%, but in behind the scene, the value is actually 0.1 or 0.69 or so. And then like there was a percent formatting going on. So it looks like 69 or 0.10 and so on, uh, 0.10 and so on. Anyway, this chart, what I want to do is I want to show the sales values. So you can see the sales values one side while you can see the percent change from the year ago. So I can bring in the sales here. Now the second y-axis value is the sales total is showing orange color. But here is a problem. Like you can use, you can see a little bit of like a small blue color at the top of the orange. This is because the values are so different. And then also another thing is kind of weird is now is this is like a, a 400K percent. It doesn't make sense, but this percent formatting is carried through the first Y axis column. Now, what I want to do is I want to actually swap these columns first. I can drag and drop to change the position. So now like I have the first one with the sales values. So that format is not the percentage anymore. That's fine. But at the same time, still, we can't see this orange is supposed to have the percent difference from a year ago. So what we can do is we can assign this second y-axis to use y2 axis scale so that we can have a different scale, but in a single one chart. So what we can do is here is from the menu, but this time the second y-axis menu, which is a percentage um, difference. And then there's a menu says y1, y2 assignment. And from here, like I'm going to say, hey, you know what? This second one is actually the Y2 axis. I'm going to assign that. And along with that, I'm going to give the name to the sales because both of them right now is in sales because they are coming from the column names. So this one is, I'm going to say the percent change from year ago. And then now we can see the orange and the blue and also the names being changed in the, in the legend. And then what I like to do is like, I want to do the side by side. Then we can see the trend of the person change. And also we can see the trend for the sales itself. And as you can see this orange, it says orange color is a person change from a year ago is Y2 and Y2 is using this percentage scale. And then left hand side is the sales. So this is actually the sales values in dollars. Okay, so this is how you can assign some of the y-axis column to the y2 axis. This is useful, especially when you have the different range of the scales for those y-axis columns. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.